Seek command. Uh, Murph, Murph 98. Let's see. Okay, it's time for uh, E4. I should probably have tried D4 again. I got a kind of weird opening <laughs> the last time I played D4. We'll give that a shot again soon. Okay, this is some kind of Sicilian. Maybe a con. <laughs> yeah, I just played a Sicilian like this with the other colors. Ah, but no, this is different. Okay, a quick um, B5. Hmm, I wonder if he wants to undermine this pawn. Okay, put the bishop out there. Yeah, he does. He's going after the pawn. Well, let's continue with this uh, kind of English English attack setup. The queen there. So there's something that's kind of related to the con Sicilian, it looks like. Let's see, I could um, take the knight now or wait for him to take. Why don't I take and see where he wants to put his pawns. Okay, he just wants to do that. Keeps the C file open. Yeah, maybe I should castle kingside here. He's going to have some quick, quick pressure on the C file, right? It's going to be... A little annoying, and then get my king off of this dark squared diagonal, so I don't get. Uh, okay, this guy just wants to go all out for the attack. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's just going for the attack. So how about um, uh, f4, f5, trying to open up things in the center? Yeah, there's a bit of a problem here. I can't uh, play f5 right away. He takes and uh, <laughs> and then he's got this mate on g2. Kind of annoying. Yeah, so he's going to plunk his uh, knight into this square, I guess. That's his idea. Oh, once again, I've, uh, I've blocked the defense of the... Um, G pawn. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit tricky. Okay, can I disrupt his queen in some way? Knight here. And knight's not getting there easily. Knight here. Server. <clears throat> knight to uh, d4 is what I'm thinking. Hitting the queen. Chasing it off that diagonal. Then, uh, when this guy opens up, it's not so bad for me, huh? And I've got an open line onto his uh, king now. Wonder, is uh, c4 a move here? Let's just play c3, <clears throat> 2. Um, keep that um, this uh, C file in, in reasonable shape. See if he has a plan here. Oh, he just takes. Yeah. Okay. I left a pawn hanging, <laughs> and he's hitting. Uh, he is also hitting G two once again. How oh, annoying. Okay, and I can't um, easily. block this bishop. I, I can play knight f3. Maybe that's the move. Don't really like the look of that. He can take and um, have to take back with a pawn. I've got these broken up pawns around my king, but I don't see uh, what other move to play. I can defend with the rook, but he might just trade. Rook takes. I mean, knight takes, rook takes, bishop takes, and then the queen gets on this diagonal. Looks dangerous. So we'll play this move. His king is still in the center, so maybe he will have trouble eventually, but uh, <clears throat> at the moment I'm the one in trouble. <laughs> uh, so he just went for the pawn damage. Not not a bad choice, really. And the, and the extra pawn over there. 
Okay, uh, let's see if I can <clears throat> do something with my bishops. Maybe pawn to f4 and rook to uh, Hmm, now that doesn't work either. Maybe the immediate queen to h2 or g2. Queen g2 hits the knight. Where does the knight go? The knight can drop back here, but uh, I can take it. Yeah, so that defends um, the f4 square. So he has knight to f4 if I go queen g2. Pawn to f4, maybe. And queen h2. And his knight's a bit a bit stuck there. But uh, actually, queen h2, he can play knight g5 because I can't take it. Because <laughs> my queen will be in the glare of the bishop. And if I play queen to... Um, g2 instead of queen h2, then he can play knight takes. <clears throat> Maybe rook here is possible. Oh, he took his queen off of that diagonal, so that's a block. After the queen trade, I think maybe his, his knight really is trapped. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, at least he's slowed down. <laughs> not not moving so fast anymore. Still has a very weak... Uh, well, no. I can't say his king is weak. His king is surrounded by pawns. It's just in the center, and uh, it's blocking coordination between his rooks. So there is something suspicious about Black's position. But if he can keep the pressure up and force me to react to threats, then uh, it might still be good for him. He could try counterattacking. I have one loose bishop here, two loose bishops check. But I don't see any good way for him to counterattack them. Yeah, so where is his knight going now? Isn't it lost? So it'll be two pieces for a knight. It won't be an easy, easy win, but I, I should be better. So the, uh, the H3 pawn, it was a poison pawn. <laughs> Let's count. One, two, three, four, Check. one, two. Yeah, he went for the pawn. <clears throat> one, two. So I'm down to three pawns, and he's got... Um, two, three. So he's got three three pawns for the piece. And now... Um, let's, uh, well, let's attack his uh, e-pawn. If he pushes g4, then... Um, Hmm, okay. Bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes, check. Where's his king going? His king can go here or back there. I was just wondering if it's worthwhile giving up the piece and getting some pawns for it. <clears throat> it doesn't look like I can get here. I want to get the uh, h-pawn, but if I play king h3, he's going to play g5 and then... Uh, I just get pushed back. Okay, what else can I try here? How about uh, invading on the 7th rank? See if that, that helps. The 7th rank or the 6th rank? I'll keep in reserve this idea of trading off the uh, bishop. Ah, so he didn't mind this, huh? <clears throat> Check. 
check. I can get some counterplay perhaps on the uh, with my past pawns on the other side of the board. We'll see. And the bishop, I may be asking too much of the bishop, but uh, <laughs> so let's see. There's there's a lot of pins here. This pawn is pinned uh, to the king, so this pawn is loose. Bishop takes, rook takes, rook takes, rook takes, king takes. It's just three pawns against three. How about if I go here? This pawn is also pinned. It's pinned in two different ways. It's pinned against the king and it's pinned against the rook. So this, this pawn is not really moving. <clears throat> king can come forward. Yeah, I guess that's, that's, a, that's a move. Okay, I should start marching my pawns, right? Ah, his king goes all the way to there. That's interesting. So now he's protecting that rook. Let's go back and take a look at this pawn here. His pawns are faster, but I have the extra piece. So we'll see, see how this works out. And now... <clears throat> okay, so he's going to threaten to um, push the uh, g-pawn here. Now let's get this bishop on a good diagonal. Check. Aha, uh -huh. so he wants me to sacrifice the bishop. If I go here. Let's see, I could go here and pin the pawn. He takes the bishop, I take his rook, and then one of these guys is probably going to queen, right? <laughs> hmm, 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 hmm. I place my bishop here, um, threatening to take this pawn. Maybe that's better. He pushes forward, and then I just get my rook to here. If he takes, I take back with the king. If he does nothing, I can still place my rook on uh, e1 and then push these pawns. Interesting, <laughs> interesting, uh, somewhat strange uh, end game here. Not sure how this is going. Uh huh. Yeah, he's going to try and creep in with his uh, rook. So let's uh, let's get my pawns going here. Okay, my pawns have reached the point where they're Check. nearly unstoppable. But, uh, well, Check. maybe I have to settle for a draw here. If I go here, he can check me anyway. Let's see if he wants more than a draw. Check. Yeah, but he got a draw. Check. 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 Draw. Game drawn. Okay, well, I will upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.